For e-commerce entrepreneurs, quarter four is the most anticipated time of the year. This is the time where people's spending habits go through the roof and brands are built. In this video, I'll be breaking down the six figure strategy that is being used by e-commerce entrepreneurs that will be making millions of dollars this quarter four. And I'll share some tips and resources for how you can also take advantage of this strategy, whether you're just starting out or you already have your own store. Let's get it. Before we get into this video, I just want to quickly apologize for inconsistent posting. I would like to post about once a week, but being completely overwhelmed with school and running an e-commerce business on the side, I don't really have the time, uh, but I will try my best. I have some really, really cool things planned out for this channel, and my goal is to kind of uh, post videos at least once every two weeks. But I hope you guys stick around to see what I have in store for y'all. Starting my dropshipping store a few months ago, I thought I started early enough to be prepared to reap all the benefits of quarter four. But now that it's here, I couldn't be farther from being right. As an e-commerce entrepreneur, you need a consistent strategy in every aspect of your business. And I have to admit, I haven't been as consistent as I would have liked. So there's a good chance that I might not be able to take advantage of as much benefits as I could have if I was more prepared. But that's okay, we want to take our time to get things right the first time. Before I talk to you about this strategy, I want to briefly mention how I ended up with such a consistent strategy so early in my e-commerce journey. Back in August when I started my first mentorship, I was actually in contact with Justin Wall. Justin Wall is the CEO and founder of Beyond Six Figures, an e-commerce mentorship university that has helped countless amounts of students generate millions of dollars in revenue. I really had begun to understand dropshipping in the world of e-commerce a lot better after my first mentorship in August, and I made the decision that e-commerce and building a legitimate brand was really something I wanted to pursue in the long term after watching influential YouTubers like David Fogarty and Jordan Welsh. I understood that the highest level of knowledge in the industry would get me to this point at the most efficient rate. So I joined what is literally the best e-commerce mentorship program out there and the knowledge that I've learned over the last month has been invaluable. Justin's students have literally made hundreds of thousands of dollars per month with these detailed and broken down strategies. And here's the best part. I'm gonna share with you some of those same six figure strategies that Justin's students have used to see incredible success that I'm using to build up my store and my assets right now. These systems break down everything in a step-by-step -step methodological manner, enabling us to ensure consistency, which is super important because we need to understand that we're not the only ones marketing the products that we're selling in our dropshipping business. As many of you know, there's thousands, if not more, people trying to sell the exact same product that you're trying to. And if you wanna see some traction, you really have to set yourself apart from the competition. Before we go over these systems, I wanna quickly give credit to Justin and the Beyond Six Figures team. I asked him if I could share some of this incredible value on my channel, and he said yes, so that is super awesome. This is literally knowledge that people pay thousands of dollars for, so you're gonna to wanna to take notes. The first thing we're gonna start off is with product research. This is often one of the most challenging things that people struggle with, and finding high quality products is so important because you're potentially gonna be spending money advertising that product, and you're definitely gonna be investing a lot of time and energy creating landing pages and ad creatives. So getting this first part right will save you an incredible amount of time and money. So what you're gonna to wanna to do first in your product research is literally start finding products. And here are some of the things that I do to find products. I browse through Amazon, TikTok, AliExpress, I go through my Facebook feed, or I use tools like AdSpy, and once I find the product that I think is a winner, I put it through an index. In order for your product to stand out from the thousands of ones out there, it needs to fit at least three of this criteria. And keep in mind, the more you go through this process, the easier it will become to understand which products are winners. Now the index you're gonna wanna use that this product needs to fulfill three out of the criteria is number one, it needs to improve confidence. It needs to improve your customer's confidence. It needs to improve convenience in their life. It needs to fill some kind of void or solve a problem. It needs to save them money, save them time, improve their quality of life, have a high perceived value, 
or be woman dominated. Now that was eight, there's one more, and this one is, the product is extremely unique. This is the only factor that when finding a product, if you notice that is it is extremely unique, that it can pass that entire index without needing to meet all three of the criteria. So once you find your product, look at each one of these and see if it fits at least three of those criteria or it's extremely unique, and then you can move forward with your product research. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is look for actual validation of desire for your product in the market. So what you would do is go on Google Trends and look at what has been trending for shoppers for a broad key niche term for your product in the last 90 days. And then you wanna look and see if that term has been trending about 50% at least half of the time in those last 90 days. For example, if the product you're interested in is a dog toy, typing in dog and seeing dog over 50% half the time passes this check mark and it shows that there is validation that there is desire for your product in the market. And this step literally makes perfect sense because Google Trend is literally telling you if people are typing into their computer and searching for your product. Next, you wanna take your product and go on to AliExpress. You wanna look at the order count of your product and determine is there demand or is there saturation. If you see your product have at least 200 orders, then you can go ahead and move forward with it because there is enough demand. But if the product has over 25,000 orders with a top supplier, then we're gonna say it's too saturated. The last step I'm gonna share with you is YouTube. YouTube is also perfect for validating our product because when we search up our product or niche term on YouTube, it tells us if there's an audience out there that has been recently creating content for our product. And we wanna look and see if there's over five videos with at least 5,000 views in the last year. This tells us that there's people actively making content and are passionate for our product or our niche. Now there's a few more parts to this system, but these are some of the most important ones that I'm gonna be sharing with you. And they should be enough to help you start shaping the mindset of what a potential winning product looks like. If you're going through these steps and not seeing your product pass the system, I would not recommend wasting any more time on it because these steps are literally telling you if people are interested in your product in the market. And if they're not, there's a good chance your product won't be successful in the long run. Maybe it'll make you some money for a short period of time, but eventually it'll die out and we're trying to build long-term growth for ourselves. After you find a product going through the system, I personally recommend finding 20 to 30 more because oftentimes that first product will not be your winner and you wanna have an arsenal of products to look at to maintain momentum as you continue testing products. As you find each one of these products, put them on an Excel sheet and I will actually link an Excel sheet down below in the description that I personally use with this system to find my products. After you find your products, you wanna start making your landing pages. You're gonna to wanna to use AliExpress and even Alibaba to source your images and descriptions of your products. But your landing page has to really stand out from the thousands of other landing pages and this step is where marketing comes in. As you identify your potential winning products, you need to start building a persona of who your customer is for that specific product. And, th and this persona will effectively help you to determine how to market your product to that consumer. You need to do research on that customer's problem and the customer's problems with similar products to the one that you're marketing to build a marketing angle on your landing page. A great way to do this is by simply looking at reviews on Amazon of your product. Once you find a solid angle that solves the pain of a consumer and can also be marketed to a lot of consumers, you need to tailor that angle into your landing page. When your customer enters your landing page, they need to feel like you're speaking directly to them and the product was designed for them. However you decide to incorporate this step into your landing page, whether it's a pitch statement or something that helps your customer relate to their pain, don't miss this step as it is extremely important. Think about how everyone else is looking at the same product and looking at other landing pages and just seeing general information about the product. If you're taking a customer to your landing page and speaking to them as if the product was meant for them, this is much different and will 100% make you stand out from the competition. You also wanna do the other standard thing Things like have benefits, real reviews, and high quality product images. Now after you finish your landing pages and you move into advertising, you also want to use that customer persona to find keywords to help you target them on advertising platforms like Facebook. 
These keywords could include your customer's interests, their passions, and other related niches that they might be interested in. It is super important to note that most people out there are using single interest keywords. If you don't know what that means, say, say you're advertising on Facebook for example, right before you advertise that product, you have to choose interest to target that people have that you want to advertise to. So for example, if you're selling a dog chew toy, your interest might be dog, dog toys, pets, etc. Now the reason I'm telling you to go into more detail targeting with your keywords is because I'm telling you every media buyer out there and their dog is using this strategy. So in order to separate yourself from the competition, I recommend going in depth on the keywords that you target. Start looking at TV shows, magazines, other things that your consumer might be interested in that you can target. Now keep in mind you do need to have a set advertising strategy for targeting these keywords as sometimes targeting keywords that are too broad or too narrow might not do well. But in the end don't be like everyone else because you'll get results that everyone else is getting. Now that was advertising on platforms like Facebook and Google Ads. If you're trying to advertise with organic traffic then you need to make sure that the keywords and content that you're using are directly related to your customer persona that we spoke about. And if you're using influencer marketing, then you need to find some influencers that actually target your specific audience and not just random people. After you figure out the best ways to target your audience, which I recommend starting off on Facebook as it is a powerful advertising platform, you want to focus on creating ad creatives that have high quality videos because viewers won't purchase your product if your ad is crappy. Creatives that engage your viewers in the first few seconds of the video and show your viewers how your product will change their life. One important thing that you don't want to do is just list features. Your customers really don't care about features, they care about what your product will do for them and this applies to everything, your ad copy, your creatives and your landing pages. So we went over tips on strategies to find high quality products to build landing pages that incorporate marketing angles to directly target our customers, how to find some keywords that target our specific customer, and some good ideas of how to create good ad creatives that stand out from the competition. If you're doing these small things, I guarantee you, you are separating yourself from so many people out there that literally just copy and paste products into their website with no consideration for marketing or quality. Now I didn't go into extreme detail how to build each one of these assets, but my main intention in showing you how I'm creating each one is to get you to see the types of things that you need to be doing if you want to stand out from the competition to help you start building a mindset of how to start effectively creating your systems. I'll also link some YouTubers that go more in depth into some of this stuff and I'll leave it to you to do more research. There's so much information when it comes to each one of these assets in e-commerce that it will not fit into one video. It takes time, practice, and consistency to learn all these things. So don't feel frustrated if you don't get it all at once. Hopefully these tips support you this quarter four, and if not, next year leading up to the next quarter four. As I continue making videos on this channel and seeing success, I'll share the most important things I've learned to give you a better understanding of what I'm finding the most traction with. If you're confused at all about any of the stuff that I mentioned in this video, do not hesitate to leave questions down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. I didn't cover every single detail, I missed things like store creation, but you can literally ask me any question about my store and this six figure strategy about what I'm doing down below in the comments. Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you liked it, make sure you leave me some love down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.